are you both Austrian? You're Austrian and he's the import product. Yes, okay, okay. Which country, if I may ask, sir? Hungary. Oh, hey, good. Okay, very good. So you got one of those that are easy to impress. I like that. I like that. We're, there's a lot of us. Any more Hungarians in? Come on, Hungarians. Make some noise. Woo! Yay, Orban! No? Really? What's wrong? I thought we finally had some unity, no? The cuisine. Okay. Was it is like a good culture shock or bad culture shock? Bad culture shock. All right, all right, that's weird to me. I, I thought Austrian food was aight. What, what, what do you not like, Wiener schnitzel? But we have Wiener schnitzel in Hungary. That's like, we're raised on the shit. If you ever gone to school in Hungary, they feed you Wiener schnitzel from with like a tennis racket. Like, it's like, it has the meat, it has the eggs, it has breading over it. It has all the nutritious, now catch. <laughs> That's how, that's how high school and elementary school gets fed in Hungary. It's a very good, like, that's, that, by the way, that's a weird culture shock for any Hungarian who comes here. Like, what's your national dish? Wiener schnitzel. Like, no, no, but really, what's your national dish? We, we grew up on this. Like, is there anything else? It's like, Wiener schnitzel with, but, like, but anything else. Like, that's the Wiener schnitzel. That's, that's, so it's hard to impress Hungarians with that alone. But there's other stuff that you can impress Hungarians with really easily. For example, by pointing at the roads. No potholes. Look, look, wherever you step, you can jump around with your eyes closed and you'll never break your ankle. It all works. It's perfectly done. By, by the way, I'm also thinking that's why Austria is so like chill with alcohol and driving. Because the roads are fine. You're like, nothing's going to happen. In Hungary, we have zero tolerance because you need 100% of your concentration. <laughs> In Austria, they're like, it's probably going to be fine. Just get shit-faced and drive home. Come on.